you guys, I was crying. I was like, I woke up crying too. I'm crying right now. You guys, we were just reading through some of the comments on our last video, and you guys are just awesome. I feel like you guys are real family members, like all the well wishes for this guy. And guys, I am feeling so much better. I mean, it is towards the end of the day, but towards the end of the day is when my muscles are all loose. He's I can move loosey. around. He's goosey. Woo. I say loosey goosey, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Anyways, you guys, what I'm trying to say is we love all of you. We hope all of you are having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, Hopefully, we can help with that a little bit. <laughs> Put a slight smile on your face, because I get it. There's those days where oh my gosh, they're the yeah, worst. Some of those days and are the worst. You just want to go to bed and act like that day never happened, and that's totally mm -hmm. fine too. Mm -hmm. Luckily, today is not one of those days for us. I just finished up work, and I have been on the phone all day. I had eight interviews today, phone interviews. So I'm sorry if my voice may come across a little raspy. I have been talking a ton. So you know, I decided to pick up the camera and talk to you guys a little more. <laughs> Chit chatting all day, interviewing people. And oh, look at this real quick. Look at me. I'm walking. You guys, he's walking. He's got his supportive sandals on. He's oh, doing yeah. good. He did there's wake up. Little, there's a little bit of tightness there, but I'm ignoring it right now. <laughs> he did wake up, and I heard him go ah. It's yeah. like when he first steps out of bed. <laughs> I just think it's because he's not really moving his muscles a ton, but yeah. it's painful. But yeah, he's doing good. I'm doing good. I just like how she said that. I'm not moving my muscles a ton. Well, <laughs> I just meant in the morning when you wake no, up. No, I know you meant. It just made me sound like I'm just lazy. So you guys have seen us, but we know who you really want to see. You don't even have to say it. Oh, come here. Where is he? He just drank, and I think he's choking on his oh, water. Oh, no, you choking on your water. You drink too much. You guys, sometimes much. he drinks too fast, and then he just like coughs it a little bit. Oh, don't cough Does anyone else's dogs do that out there? Oh, but look how cute he is. Finn, oh, oh, you're oh. just the sweetest ever. <laughs> How are we so lucky to have you? Okay, speaking of Finn, you guys, I'm gonna sit down for this one because I had the craziest, craziest thing happen to me last night. Yeah, this is nuts. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm sure some of you guys can relate, but have you ever had a dream that feels so real and you wake up like, okay, this is gonna be gross, but like, sweating like profusely <laughs> because I think your body like literally is responding. I don't know why, but it's like your body's actually been put through that situation. It it's like a so real Tuesday night for me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I had, uh, I'll call it a nightmare because it was so real. It felt so real. I woke up like, oh my gosh, like shaking, literally shaking. And it has to do with this little cutie. And you're probably thinking, what in the world it has to do with Finn? I admit, I have been watching a few crime shows in the last few weeks. And <laughs> Jared's laughing. Because I get into those crime shows, like the 2020s, the Datelines, and you guys, they have podcasts. So what I'll do is sometimes when I'm working and I'm just going through like resumes or like different office busy work, I'll put in a podcast. And I've been listening to some of the 2020 Dateline ones. I like go through like phases, I feel like. Cause then I'll get to a point where I'm like, okay, I can't handle any more craziness. Honestly, I think we all do though. Like on road trips, those are like the go-tos. Yeah, they're just like, oh my gosh, this is real yeah. life. Like this is happening, like it's crazy. Anyways, so I will admit, let me set that. This is probably why this happened is cause of that. But literally I was at the grocery store and it was actually a grocery store back in Utah, and not even our grocery store here, but it was you and I. And I had Finn in the grocery store with me, which I've never taken Finn into a grocery store before, but I know a lot of people take their dogs in. Anyways, I had Finn with me. He jumped down, he was in my arms, and 
I was like getting like some fruit or something in the produce section, putting it in a bag, and I turn around because I thought usually he stays right by me. But all of a sudden, I see kind of his hind legs, someone's holding him, and I see like the back of this man, and they like are out of sight. And I was like, oh my gosh, they just stole my dog. They just <laughs> stole my dog. Someone stole Finn. Like that's what's going through my head. And you guys, I, it was some podcast I was listening to, but it was from this girl who was almost abducted and she was giving her account and she said, I guess she did gives like trainings on how you're supposed to respond with abductions or different things like that. And she said how if that happens, like if someone takes your child or if you're trying to get abducted, you're supposed to scream the characteristics about either say it's your child, say it's a five-year-old boy, scream what color shirt and you're supposed to scream it because chances are if the person who took the child hears that other people around are going to automatically be looking for that description and that's going to make them want to just like that's genius ditch them and leave away isn't that so smart yeah, like that's way smart i've never thought about that you're just literally supposed to be like five-year-old boy yellow shirt kidnapped like taken blonde hair blue eyes like just start screaming that and not stay silent which it makes sense because a lot yeah. of time i feel like if people lose their kids and stuff you're just like searching quietly like frantically but if you feel like they've been taken and like who knows in today's world there's crazy stuff that happens like i think that's so smart oh genius yeah and, genius and same thing if someone tries to attack you they said that you're supposed to scream their characteristics like six foot male whatever you know brown that's hair, in the eyes. movie taken is that in the movie Remember Taken? Remember when they take her out from underneath the bed, He, she says yes. tattoo on his hand. That is right. Yeah. And you start screaming characteristics. So yeah. anyways, I hope this never comes into play for any of us. Yeah. But if it does, it's not useful information. I yeah, that's it's great. Worse. Anyways, going back to my nightmare, <laughs> I start screaming, white dog, 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy. Like I remember thinking, oh my gosh, you have to scream about Finn. And you guys, I was crying. I was like, I woke up crying too. I'm crying right now. And I was like, white dog, taken by a man. And I'm like running through the aisles, Jared searching. It's not funny. It was so real to me. It was now. so real. And you guys, I see him leaving the, in, like I get up to the front store and I see the guy leaving in the parking lot and I like run out there and I, someone's pulling in their car. I'm like, help, help, like he's taking my dog. <laughs> Anyways, at that point, I get into the car with him and we start to drive and at that point I woke up and I literally, Finn was down by my feet at that point and I went and I picked him up and I like literally had tears <laughs> rolling down my face and I was like, Finn, I love you so much. I'm never gonna let that happen to you. <laughs> never ever, huh, Finn? Yeah. You guys, it was so sad. I, I mean, hopefully someone out there can relate with me. I know maybe I sound like a crazy dog mom right now, but <laughs> it was so real and so heartbreaking and so sad, so. Anyways, that was my night last night. That happened at like 3 o'clock a.m. and I didn't go back to sleep. So I'm not sure why I'm in such a good mood today, but I am. I mean, maybe in an hour or so when it gets, you know, after 8 o'clock, I'm oh going to crash. Oh my gosh, I am crying right now. <laughs> that is so funny. Anyways, <laughs> I- Jerry told me the story yeah. earlier this morning, like when it happened, but- He wasn't really listening though. He was uploading his vlog. I was like, Jared, I had the worst dream. I had a nightmare and I told him and- <laughs> It was real. You guys I usually, know it's real. It's funny. Usually I'll wake up Jared if I had a bad dream. She but will. He gets she mad will at wake me. me up. She hears a noise, anything. Jared, hey. And it's like it's like, Jared, are you asleep? Hey, are you awake? Keep shaking me until I eventually just wake up. I am. I <laughs> hey, get, you awake? Oh I God. get scared. Well, if it's a noise <laughs> or if I see it's safety, then yeah, I'm waking him up for sure. This one I yeah. was like, hey, it was just a dream. I'm okay. <laughs> like it was just a dream. I got Finn and he came and cuddled with me. I left Jared sleeping soundly. I didn't wake him up. He doesn't get enough sleep as it is with editing the vlog. So yeah. anyways, yeah, you I guys. Know. Hopefully you enjoyed that story slash hopefully it's helpful because I feel like that is such helpful yeah. information to just know and be aware of if you're ever put in a situation like that. So anyways, 
that's kind of that was smart yeah it was good yeah good tip. Smart. so i'm sharing that with all of you maybe if you guys have any other tips along those lines share them down below i love to read them i think it's so interesting and it's so helpful to be, to be prepared whenever you know just be prepared for those kind of things because wow. you never know what's going to happen look at the sky wow. right now wow you guys look at the beautiful sunset tonight it was such a pretty day here i feel like it was perfect weather today and no i did not get outside jared took finn on his walks today i did maybe we'll try and go on a walk a little later jared's yeah. filling up to it we don't want him to overdo it but maybe i will at least because i want to get out there it's so pretty it feels good to like exercise the foot yeah it's good they said to stretch it and move it I do have a question. I did not ask the doctor about this, but for any of you guys out there that might be able to help me out or, you know, give me some tips. So when I'm walking, sometimes I can feel it being tight and then it'll start to like, I guess, warm up. It almost feels warm, but then there's just like a cooling sensation. I don't even know why that's the case, but if any of you guys do know why that's the case, maybe comment that down below because it's so weird feeling. It's just like almost like, it's just like a cooling sensation on my Achilles. Yeah, that's really strange. But then I feel totally fine. I feel like I can just walk further. I feel like I could, I could even run, but I'm not gonna run because... Yeah, no. No, no. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm with my Finley and I'm happy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at him, he's so sweet. <laughs> yes, Finn, I would go over the moon to save you. I would do anything. So you guys, that's kind of in our day so far. Work, nothing super exciting. But stay tuned, because this weekend we do have fun plans coming Oh up. yeah. Yes, we are going kayaking, we're gonna go to the beach, we're gonna go to the pool, maybe up here. I know, we haven't really taken you guys to our pool before. Jared, you've never been in it. I've actually never even been to the yeah, pool. We've lived here <laughs> over four months and he's never been in our pool. I've been, in, I've been to it twice. Yeah. Twice. I've Not, been, yeah. Once on my own, once with my and sister. And our pool, you guys, is honestly like pretty darn cool. So we're thinking Friday is gonna be a beach day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, cause I don't work on Fridays, so we're gonna go to the beach on Friday. It's supposed to be beautiful weather. And then Saturday, we're thinking of going kayaking in the intercoastal, so we'll get to take you guys all around from the water point of view, which will be really, really fun. If weather permits. Yes, weather fingers permits. crossed, because yeah. the storm is supposed to come in, but it says 30% chance. That means we may get a little drizzle, but yeah. hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah. So we're thinking doing that in the morning and then going to our pool later on, and then maybe doing a fun little date night at a fun restaurant. But tonight, what's on the docket? Movie night, right oh, yeah. here. We're gonna do a little movie night and... Well, for any of you guys that may be new to our channel... Yeah, you may think this is a picture. First off, you need well, to subscribe. Well, it is. <laughs> second off, second off the same thing. Okay. Secondly, <laughs> we move the picture and this becomes our motion picture. Yes, so many of you guys have actually asked what projector we have, so I will show you. This is our little, it's a pocket projector. You guys, I got this actually like four or five years ago, maybe uh -huh. even more, six. We were dating. Yeah, so we were yeah, dating. like at least six years ago. And it is by Brookstone. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I'm sure, I've actually looked on Amazon. There's a ton of mini projectors like this that are highly rated, so you could always do that. But basically, Jared just put it, he had a super smart idea, he put it on a tripod that it just screws into the bottom and then we plug an external speaker to it like that and bada honestly, boom bada bang we got an in-home theater honestly you guys this setup is kind of just rinky dinky but it does an amazing i think like, it's picture. awesome oh it's amazing it's honestly amazing i mean but we have our pocket projector with like some <laughs> speed yeah we put the speaker up behind <laughs> us this is so we this, feel this one here more. is a selfie stick <laughs> for like a gopro and then this is like a tripod thing that is bought i bought all of this stuff on amazon other than the projector obviously because it's pretty big of that but yeah it honestly works great whoa <laughs> i'm on the movie screen tonight I'll, I'll okay i'll move over here so anyways that's on the dog that we're gonna watch a movie to wrap up tonight i'm gonna make some dinner really quickly and speaking of that you guys if you missed yesterday's video i did mention i'm gonna be posting a lot of the recipes i've been making over on our Instagram page for now, at Jared and Britt, under our highlight bubble recipes. So you can find our pasta salad there. I'm gonna put the cinnamon rolls, the rolls. Uh -huh. A lot of you guys so. have been asking about the rolls and the bread and everything. Ooh, and I wanna make more of those, because that That's sounds so really good right now. But Plus we have a lot of honey. Oh my gosh, we have this new honey that Brittany got. It's got honeycomb inside of it. You guys, it's good. It's just from Publix too, and it's so good. delicious. So good. we're gonna get something to eat, and we'll see you guys in a little bit.
glowing with the lights all around us. <laughs> oh my goodness. We just finished up dinner and it was so good. Trader Joe's saved me again tonight. <laughs> we did a little Asian fusion, you could say. Yeah, it was good. We had this super spicy shrimp rice. Fried rice. Yeah, fried yeah. rice. If you like spicy, I suggest it. If you don't like spicy, do not get it because it was very spicy. And then we had like, what are these little wonton things? They were pot stickers. Pot stickers. Yeah. yeah. Shrimp pot stickers oh, are they so were good. good. You just pan so fry good. them in the pan. Then we had a little mix in salad. Asian slaw salad. It literally took less than 10 minutes to throw <laughs> together and it tasted like takeout. Now it is time to watch a movie. So it's probably gonna take us 20 minutes to decide what we're gonna watch. So we oh are gonna gosh. close out the vlog. <laughs> we won't put you guys through that pain. <laughs> but you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with all of us today. Don't worry, I got my little fingers and here. And don't worry, teeth. he's safe. He's safe. Hopefully no more bad dreams tonight. <laughs> but you guys, we love you all so, so much. Thanks for being here and a part of our lives. And we will see you all tomorrow. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.